how many of you have invested? And what Alice say, have invested in your future or your retirement? How many of you? Can I get your hands up? Invested. In invested in properties, invested in stocks, whatever investment that you have made in your life. How many of you? I believe everybody, right? How many of you have ROI immediately? Wow. Immediately. Have anybody achieved that? I did that. Wow. I did that. Let me tell you a secret. I bought an expensive fishing rod and reel and as a present for my wife. And I get it back after that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Basic Fishing 101. I'll be your coach for today. My name is Yazid. I've been fishing for the last almost 40 years. And in my free time, I work in Seagate. <laughs> I'll be spending about 20 minutes or 15-20 minutes with you on the basic theory of fishing. I know everybody registered here for its course. And I know everybody is interested how to catch your first fish. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, that's it. So that's why I'm here, and that's why you are here to learn how to fish, fish, invest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go fishing. Okay, why people go fishing? A lot of people. Why? Why do you have registered for this course? Anybody knows? Kill time. To kill time. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of reasons, right? And I just heard one reason just now from I see you just now. Due to global warming, the water will rise 23 feet high, right? 23 feet high, right? 230, 230, 230 feet high. 70 meters. 70, meters. 70, meters. 70 meters. Basically, there will be a lot of water and a lot of fish. 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 <laughs> That's one reason why you want to go fishing, right? I want to go because I want to feed fish. <laughs> <laughs> you fish under the sea. There are a lot of reasons. One reason is fishing for food. That has been, has been a, a, a tradition of people fishing for food. Is that right? And you, you have to go to the market and buy fish and you eat fish. That's why you need to catch fish for food. And some people go fishing just to really stress. Right? They just want to spend the day outside Seagate, right? Doing out, out on the monotonous work, go out to the beach and just relax. Put your fishing rod there and just lie down and sleep. It's the best kind of people. They won't catch anything at all. <laughs> And some goes for social bonding. Right? This is the time to get with your friends, with your families, with your children, to get them together, have fun fishing. Right? Fishing don't have to be so stressed, right? And it can be a lot of fun. Although you don't catch anything at all. I've been on a fishing trip on a boat, three days, two nights, with doctors, lawyers, engineers, uh, director, CEO. And all there, all of them share the same passion, fishing. And I love some of them because they don't talk anything else. You just chat, 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 less fishing. Yeah? It's almost like playing golf, you know? You play golf, you talk more than you play golf. And so fishing is about the same. Some just, some just go for social bonding, not exactly for fishing reasons. Some recreational, right? A hobby, pick up a hobby, something new, something challenging, right? Fishing can be quite fun, right? You can challenge yourself as a recreation. It can be a big passion for everybody. So even for kids, right? Is you want to introduce fishing for your children. Yeah. Some goes for the thrill of fishing, right? It's no fun catching can be list, right? But it's fun catching this marlin or even the big tuna over there. It's fun. That's why you keep your adrenaline up, you know? And you feel good, right? Every time you come back to the office, yesterday I just catch a big fish, you know? Big fish, you know how big it is? This big. <laughs> yes, most fishermen will tell you that story, you know? I'm catching the big fish, but they actually never catch any fish at all. Uh, there's the photos of some other people taking the fish. There's the thrill of telling the stories at all, not the fishing. Okay, everybody was asking, wow, okay, we know the reasons, I have my own reasons why I want to go fishing, why I attended this class in the first place. But where to begin? How do I start fishing? Right? How do I catch my first fish? Okay, I'm going to teach you a simple acronym. Okay? Remember S, remember E, remember T. S, E, T. Once you have set, you can go fishing. What is the first S? Species. You need to know what kind of fish you want to catch. Right? What kind of fish you want to catch? You need to know the equipment to use to catch that species of fish. And you need to know time and location. Where is this fish available? When to catch it? Right? S E T. Can you remember that? S E T. Very simple. Three acronym. Okay, what is uh, fish species? Okay, let's for this class. We think of a species that we want to catch. 
It's easily built to leasing port. Okay? Let's catch the Queen White Shark. <laughs> That's the best fish you want to catch. When I conduct this class for children, the first thing I I want to catch a shark. Right? This is what always they say, but not that it's, it's not impossible. It's possible, but not at this basic 101 class. I'll come to my advanced class, I'll teach you how to catch this great white shark. Okay. Let's start small. We're gonna catch a tamban. And I guarantee you, after this class, you will catch at least five, ten, even hundred of them. Right? Believe me, believe me. Here you catch a fish, it's easy to catch and good to eat. Do you know that ikan a tamban is one of the favorite fish for nasi lemak? Mm. Right? But it's very difficult to catch. Sometimes it's seasonal, right? But most of the time we use selakuning, the smaller yellow. It's lacuning. Most of the time we use nasi lemak for that, but originally it was designed for tamban. It's very tasty compared to the selakuning. So we're going to catch tamban. Why tamban? Because it's uh, available in abundance. It's always a school of fish, abundance. And it's commonly accessed location. It's easy to find in public areas. Yeah? You can find that in, in all the public areas. It's easy to catch. And you don't need any bait at all. Okay? And it's good to eat, as I mentioned just now. And it also can be a bait for bigger fish. So people call this bait fish because we take uh, catch a tamban and you make that as a bait for to catch a bigger fish. That's why can the great white shark come in. Okay, but that that's too far away. Okay, what do you need to catch tamban? Any ideas? Fishing net. Fishing net, good. Some people tell me. Fishing rod? No, stop fishing rod. Using a spear gun. Why? You catch a tamba is this small? Uh, it's impossible, no. Some people use dynamite fishing. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dynamite Just, fishing is available, yes. but even Johor, people use dynamite fishing for this. But it won't be fun, you know, they collecting dead fish instead. <laughs> so, some people use net to catch, it's impossible, I tell you. Right? So, long term fish can, uh, but not tamban. Okay, what are the basic equipments? The E. That's not we talk about species. Now we go to the E, what are the basic equipments you need for fishing? Tamban. You need hooks, right? And you need lines, fishing lines. And you need rods and reels, okay? And you need a sinker. So these are the four basic equipment that you need. Okay, what is a hook that you need? Okay, you can buy tamban hooks from your tackle shop. I have here tamban hooks, and I recommend size number four. There will be a lot of big fish hooks. And size number four is the best to catch tamban, right? And some of, some of them like that is uh, handmade, okay? Those expensive one like the, the one on the left side is uh, Japan made or machine made. So the best is uh, handmade one, right? And it comes in various colors. You can see the thread, uh, the thread over here. It comes in different colors. Some are green and white. Some are yellow, uh, luminous green, luminous red, right? But in Singapore waters, best to get the green and white feathers. Right. These hooks represent a stream in water. Ah, so you don't need any extra bait to go along with it. So this just these hooks is enough to catch the tamban. I pass this around so you can take a look and get familiar. So when you go to the shop, you know what to get. Okay, for, for your information, the hooks, uh, it's a multiple hooks inside there. And it comes with a top and end. So you must know which top and which is the end. Okay, if you put it wrongly, what happens is, if you look at this, okay, this will be line, this will be your hooks. Okay? If you put it wrongly, the other way around, what happens is it could be like this. Okay? So you want the hook to be suspended open up in water, not like that in water. So you put the other way around, it looks like this. So if you know that you set it wrongly, it looks like this. Okay? So it's important for you to set it correctly. So I will tell you the secret is. The top swivel, the top part is where the swivel is. This is called a swivel. Okay? And the bottom part, there's always a swivel plus a clip. Okay? So the clip is always at the bottom. Fishing lines. Okay, there are a lot of types of fishing lines for different thickness to different strength, right? And the different colors also. Right? For this uh, tamban fishing, 15 pound line should be enough of a diameter of 20.25 mm. That'll be enough. Right? Of course, the, the heavier it is, the thicker it is, the heavier the lines is. So it's not that uh, encouraging because it's going to be very heavy. Okay, the, uh, nylon lines are good enough. Okay, get nylons. Of course, there are the braided lines and all this, but don't get confused. For this one, just concentrate on nylon lines. And rods. 
right? Rods, you have two pieces of rods, like I have here in front of you. Two, two pieces of rods. If you have three pieces, that means it's already broken. <laughs> Usually it comes with two pieces or one single piece, all right? And uh, for the length, it's about five to six feet. Okay, this uh, rod is about six feet. Uh, to me, it's still a little bit too long, okay? Five feet is good enough. Uh, maximum six feet because if any longer you'll be looking clumsy right it's very difficult to handle imagine you have a 16 feet rod and then you have to bring it up and you hit somebody lamppost and all kinds of people right? so six feet five feet six feet is good enough for fishing tamban and make sure that it's not too soft and when we say too soft it's a tip here okay make sure it's not too soft if it's too soft it's very difficult to bring up the fish and not too stiff if it's too stiff you'll be like operating a crane right just stiff <laughs> There's no fun of it. Take a medium tip where you can bend a little bit, right? So when the fish fight, you can see the thing bend and you feel more sure, yeah? more thrill to that. <coughs> so the rod should be able to take about two to six pounds of weight. Okay. And reels, you need reels, right? And uh, the common reels are spinning reels. Of course, there are different types of reels. There are multiplier reels, surf casting reels. But for this tamban, get a spinning reels of class size 500 to 200. 500 to 200. To 500, huh? So, it's about this size, okay, this size. So, of course, there are bigger ones, but the bigger ones, I mean, it's more heavier and it's more difficult to handle, especially for children, right? So, don't get too small. If it's too small, that means the number of lines is so very short, okay? And uh, it doesn't uh, be able to crack it up to bring up the fish, yeah, especially when it's a fish heavier, okay? Why is the tamban heavy? Do you know? Pass this around for you to take a look. Why is tamban heavy? Tamban is quite small, right? But it's heavy because of the pulling, right? The fish will fight and it pull you down. So you feel the strength, the weight of the fish. But it's a fish very, very small. But once you hook up a fish about five or seven, ten of them at one time, it's going to be very heavy, right? even for children to handle. Okay, so it's going to be very heavy. But good reels, they can crank easily, smoothly. You don't have to hear the <laughs> means your reel is cheap, skate one, eight dollars one. Okay, you get the twenty-five dollars one. I think that's about good. If you can get the hundred, two hundred dollars one, even better. Right? There's a lot of difference. You can see the different reels, different price, a lot of difference. But for your case, get a cheap one, about $15 one, or $21, $25, and that's good enough for fishing tamban. And you need a sinker. There are a lot of sinkers. The smallest is about half ounce for tamban, good enough. Okay. Of course, there are bigger sinkers, one kilo sinkers. Can you imagine the one kilo sinkers? I use that for my boat fishing. Right? If you use that, you don't catch anything at all. Because your rod will break right, for tamban. <laughs> So half an ounce, good enough. Ask for half an ounce. Okay, how to join your main line? Okay, once you have your reel set up, the reel have the lines, right? How to join the lines to your uh, tamban hooks. Okay, this is how you, you tie. Okay, basically put a hole, put the thread, uh, put the line on the hole, and just spin through. Then at the end, pass it through again, one more time. Okay, this is called a clinch knot. Okay, this is called a clinch knot. Okay, at the bottom of the hook, You'll see a clip and there's a hole for the sinker. Put the sinker hole into the clip. Okay? And that's how you put it up, uh, sinker to the clip. Okay? So you see that uh, I have here, the bottom is the clip and the sinker. Okay? So here we connect your main line. This is your main line. Okay? This is where your rod will be. Okay? This is your main line. So everybody got a picture of what's the basic setting? Okay. So are you ready to fish? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Not yet. <laughs> what's the last What's the last thing that you need to remember? Time. S -E -T. Time. Location. time and location. You need to know have time and location before you can start going to fish. Time and location. What's the best time to fish? Of course, there's always a best time. But at the other time they also can catch some fish, but not that many. But the best time to catch tamba will be during tide change. So take a look at the tide table. If you know that at 7 in the morning, the tide will start rising up to the to, the, to high or going down lower, that's the best time during tide change. So you need to know when the tide is going up, when the tide is going down. <coughs> because during tide change, this is where the streams or the, the small, small uh, animals will come out and the tamban will come and feed them, feed on them. Right? That's the best time. During the morning or late evening, most of the time is the best time. So if you have a tide change early in the morning, that's the best time. Or you have a tight change during the late evening, that's the best time. In between the time, you can still catch tamban, but not that many, not that plenty. Won't be that fun. So the best location, okay, Bedok Jetty. 
Sekali so, everybody is familiar with this Bedok Jetty Woodlands Waterfront Jetty A new location And you also can find it in Labrador Park Okay, during high tide Labrador Park, you have to go high tide Because low tide, you just see nothing It's all flat, no water Okay, so the best time will be uh, Morning and late evening Okay, how to jig for tamban? Okay, the term is called jig What it doesn't mean jig? Have you seen people jig before? No, i never seen people jig before Okay, so this is called a jigging. Okay, what jigging is the action of bring up and down, up and down, up and down. This is called jigging. Okay, how do you jig for fish? Let me demonstrate to you a video. Okay. How people jig for tamban. Okay, there's a technique. If you just put throw the, the line inside and just do nothing, it won't happen. Right, you need to jig. You see the action of jigging? Okay, can you see the action of jigging? I see when you catch a fish, it will be a 3-4 tamban in one shot. Right? So this is how you jig. So you see the action of jigging? Okay. Okay, I'm going to do a short demonstration of casting a demo. Can I have the reel back? Okay, I won't set up the hooks because if I start putting the hooks here and start throwing, everybody get hooked. Right? So not hooked to fishing, but hooked to your nose, your ears and kind of stuff. Right? So we don't do that. So in order for you to start casting, you don't need to cast very fast. You just need to just sway it, pendulum swim, and get the uh, the hooks out of the jetty, not not near the bottom of the jetty because you get uh, you get hook. Sun coat. I think it's sun coat, yeah. So uh, this would be the line. Imagine there's a line here, and your hooks over there. Okay. And what you need to do first is to open up the cover here. Right, this is to allow the lines to flow freely, freely, right? You wouldn't get stopped. Once you lock it up, the line will get locked. So it doesn't line, that doesn't move. So first you need to open up and hold the line with your finger. Okay? And the simple cast that you need to do is just do this, swing it. Right? Just like that, swing it, that's all. Okay, once you swing it, the sinker is, is, is a weight. We actually pull the pendulum swing and cast it out. So you don't have to cast very far. If you're a jetty, you don't have to cast very far. And once the the sinker goes into the water, let it go to mid-water. This is where the tamban always play. Not on the surface, not at the bottom, but mid-water. So you need to know where the height of the water, right? If you can, you jump down and swim <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to do that, but you can just judge, right? First, you can just throw all the way to the bottom, at least roughly you know how high the water is. So to end the, the sinker, such that it flow down up to the mid-water, and then you lock it up. Okay, once you lock it up, that's it. Then it, what you need to do is jig, right? Jig, 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 and start really slowly. Jig, jig, and start really slowly. You have to have this action. If you don't have this action, no tamban will catch you. What you want to do is to imitate. Imagine the hooks looks like fly or shrimp. So in the water, it looks like it's moving. Ah, that's why it is the, the tamban to bite the hook. Okay, once the tamban hook bite hook, you might see this. This rod might bend, you know, might bend, and that's the purpose of the rod to take the jerk and the pull of the fish so that the line will not break right so you don't have a rod here the line will surely break so this this the rod aims to handle that uh, that jerks okay so once you have that you just reel it up and that's it you catch a tamban and i guarantee you you will catch a fish if you follow all the things i mentioned just now s e t right and you get catch a fish okay, in summary i've shown to you just now s E and the T. Can you remember the first S? Species. Species. Second one? Equipment and T. And this apply to any type of fish. So later, when you have a bit challenging, my species is going to be great white shark. What is the equipment I'm going to get? When is the best time to catch sharks? Okay? So I end this class. Have fun. Go out there and show me some photos of your catching the first fish. Alright? Thank you very much.